you know how to draw the dot and cross diagrams for these two molecules? First, we have chlorine in group seven. So it has seven electrons on its outer shell. We only need to show the outer shell because these are what's called the valence electrons or the bonding electrons, the only ones that are actually going to be involved when they come and join together. Now, because each chlorine atom needs one more electron to have a full outer shell, they're going to share one each and then come together. So we now have shared between them, one dot and one cross, obviously not forgetting the non-bonding electrons. So six non-bonding electrons for each chlorine atom. For oxygen, we'll take the same approach. Each oxygen atom has six electrons in its outer shell. So to get a full outer shell, they each need two more. So they're going to share two each, giving a double bond and then again, the non-bonding electrons around the outside. Follow me for more chemistry content like this.